Cyril in the uh, Athens Olympics because he didn't get the pick. Yeah. They um, sent down from 66 kilos. He's thrown in this time with Sir Nagy. You've got to like him, haven't you? There's a big guy dropping down for the drop, Sir Nagy. And he's tapped yeah. out. The Kazakhs tapped out. And um, Masamba <laughs> takes a bronze medal in his first. Oh, it wasn't a Sir Nagy at all because he had the leg in there and the Harai Goshi got wrapped up and he's caught him behind the, the knee. Yeah, they should just bow come back. Um, 2004, off. I was really surprised that they bring double E down from, down from 60, 60 to 60. To 60. To 60. Did, did you see him in Athens? Did yeah. You see him? I couldn't believe it. I've never seen anybody that looks so pale. His skin was paled, uh, pale. He was drained. He, he, and he was so weak, Ludwig. He couldn't do anything. Yeah. And I was map. surprised because there was Duma and Soyo. They were four and five ranked in the in European the, in rankings. That's right. They should have sent um, Sawyer. They should have sent Cyril Sawyer for me. Um, and then at 66, they, s they sent Labi Ben Boudaoud. That See, that was the thing. They wanted Ben Boudaoud to go at, at 66, but they didn't know what to do with Darbale, so they gave him the 60, but it was too big a, uh, too big a drop. And I mean, not long after that, he went to um, 73, 73 anyway. <laughs> I'm joined here by uh, Ludwig Pesha, and um, nice to have you along, Ludwig. For looking me, it's also a pleasure to be here. Ah, great that you could uh, come here. You're looking forward to the next um, next competition. Where are you next? Um, before the Europeans, I'm fighting the Austrian Championship. Okay. We have right. in the beginning of March. Nice. So you get a little run out at home. Yeah, and to lose the weight again. Uh, small competition and for the rest of the team it's the uh, last few years too much too much he just needs to get used to um uh the the different levels in strength i think and not psychologically think oh my goodness in the arm up but with you know stronger guys he's yeah. strong he's a big guy when he took his um jacket off uh, earlier on you know he's got a big frame and um he's not at 90 kilos yet by the way he's still got a couple of kilos to go so as far as comfort is concerned that's a great position to be in he avoids the hip on, but the yeah um and he gets away with a yuko nice uchimata from uh, the brazilian renowned for that there we go with the replay. Just not up on the thigh, catches him down on the inside of the knee and maybe as a result of that doesn't get him high enough up and then hasn't got the rotation for the full, full lip on but uh, he leads here by a Yuko. Too far away with that uh, Tom and Aggie, the gap was far too big. But it was nice that they didn't give a, a false attack for it. It was just a bad attack. Yeah, you but know? I think it's better not to give the false attack for the first time. Because I think it's better the fighters try something and do one bad attack yeah. than to do nothing. Yeah, exactly. Well, Camillo takes a, a whack to the face there, but it was an accident and no harm done. But if you see, Camilo looks very relaxed in the fight. So it's, I think, a very good self-confidence. Yeah. Uchimata again, he's looking for it, isn't he? Left-sided. And this is where... Oh, oh, that was close. That really was close. The legs, you could see Camilo's legs almost begin to rotate as that big Harai Makikomi maybe from uh, Percy almost had him going shame that was a good move from Camillo to, no, to collapse it well I thought there was a chance for the Shimiwaza there I don't know about you from Percy I think it was over the nose yeah 
He goes around the um, the head again. He's not uh, in a in a good position. A disc Yuko. Oh, Yuko. Okay. Camillo um, staying around with that leg for too long. He should have tried to collapse it again. But I think Camillo doesn't like the grip of Matthew Percy, Percy yeah. right now. Well, if anybody can um, coach gripping. 